In court, we're often faced with different forms of the ever-exhausting Karen behavior. At times, it is the defendant who makes us gasp with their erratic behavior, while at other times, judges surprise us too. Let's watch. Number 4. Amanda Kozel During Amanda Kozel's hearing for DUI and manslaughter, Lillard ordered Donna Kozel, who is her mother, and another man out of the courtroom because they allegedly were smiling, laughing, and talking during statements from the crash victim's relatives. Judge Kiana Lillard decided to modify Donna Kozel's sentence for direct criminal contempt after she was removed from court during her daughter's sentencing for a deadly drunk driving crash. Donna Kozel spent the night in jail after she was removed from court Thursday morning. She could have faced another 92 days in jail, but Lillard said given the circumstances, she has modified the sentence to one day in jail, which Donna Kozel already has served. Instead of just exiting the court quietly, she got up, stormed out, violently burst through the door and began yelling in the hallway, further disrupting proceedings, said Lillard. In tears, Donna Kozel said she is deeply sorry for her actions in court. I deeply apologize for what I did. I was under a lot of stress, she said. Lillard said, this is real life here. What you have to understand is as hard as this is for you to see your baby going to prison, imagine what that family feels like when their child is dead. I hope that you learned a valuable lesson from this, said Lillard. Let's watch the mom's disrespectful Karen move in court. Whoever can sit here at a tragic moment like this and laugh and smile when somebody has lost a family member, ma'am, you are being taken into custody for criminal contempt. Ma'am, are going to the Wayne County Jail for 93 days for direct criminal contempt. Ms. Cousin, is yes. there something you'd like to say? Yes, I deeply apologize for what I did. I was under a lot of stress for what I did, and I know it was wrong, and I apologize. I just needed to get out, and it's been very hard for me <laughs> this year, and I know for the other family, and I'm so sorry. Number three, Judge Michael Bachman. Sometimes it so happens that the judge themselves end up acting out the Karen roll. On September 4, 2018, a woman screamed in frustration in a courthouse hallway after being told she had missed a deadline for filing a civil protection order. The scream lasted about a second. For that, a Hamilton County magistrate chased her down, led her back to his courtroom, and ordered her to spend three days in jail for contempt. When she resisted being handcuffed and pleaded with the magistrate to explain why she was being jailed, she was subdued by deputies, threatened with use of a taser, and ultimately dragged from the courtroom. The magistrate increased her jail sentence to 10 days. But later it so happened that the Ohio Supreme Court suspended the now former magistrate, Michael Bachman, from practicing law for six months. The high court said Bachman, who resigned soon after the incident, had committed judicial misconduct. Ordering the woman to spend 10 days in jail for a one-second scream in the hallway and for questioning why she was being jailed is outrageous, the court said in its opinion. The spectacle his conduct created was even more appalling and demonstrates his utter indifference to the harm he caused the woman and the integrity of the judiciary. The court said Bachman appeared to equate sending someone to jail as the adult equivalent of sending a child to his or her room. It is not, the court said. Not only was Bachman's jailing of the woman unauthorized under the contempt statute, but he exhibited a total disregard for the reason she was at the courthouse in the first place, to get a civil protection order, the opinion said. He also showed a complete indifference to the circumstances of her life, e.g. whether she had children or other family members to care for, employment she might lose, or any other harm she could suffer, to the indignity she endured by being physically restrained in a crowded courtroom, and ultimately to the loss of her liberty. Number 2. Penelope Soto A Miami teenager who made national headlines for flipping off a judge was released from jail after she tearfully apologized for her actions. Penelope Soto, 18, apologized before circuit judge Jorge Rodriguez Chomat, saying she was under the influence of Xanax and alcohol when she made the obscene gesture. Video of the confrontation went viral online. I apologize not only to the court and you, but to my family, Soto told the judge with tears in her eyes. Rodriguez Chomat dropped her 30-day jail sentence following her apology. Soto was appearing in court the first time after she was arrested for drug possession. 
After her bond was set at $10,000, she made the offensive gesture to Rodriguez Chomat. As a result, she was hauled back in front of the judge and given a jail sentence for contempt of court. The exchange began when Soto was asked about her financial assets. Standing up in court wearing an orange jumpsuit told him she earned $200 a week and said her assets included her jewelry and a car. When he asked her how much her jewelry was worth, she laughed and said, a lot. Realizing her laughter did not reflect the gravity of the situation, Judge Rodriguez Chomat told her, it's not a joke, you know, we're not in a club now. Still looking amused and stroking her hair, Soto answered, I'm serious about it, you just made me laugh. I apologize, it's worth a lot of money, she continued. Judge Rodriguez Chomat asked Soto if she had taken any drugs in the past 24 hours, which she denied. Throughout the exchange, Soto's facial expressions varied from boredom to amusement, and she was constantly moving and flicking her hair. Judge Rodriguez Chomat then set Soto's bond at $5,000 and said bye-bye. In response, Soto laughed and replied adios as she walked away. After a second's hesitation, Judge Rodriguez Chomat called Soto back and asked for the papers to be handed back to him. After scribbling on them, he then reset her bond at $10,000, to which a shocked Soto replied, Are you serious? As she turned to walk away again, Soto gave the finger to Judge Rodriguez Chomat and said, F you. Again, looking amused, Judge Rodriguez Chomat called Soto back again and gave her a 30-day jail sentence for contempt of court. Let's watch this Karen's obnoxious behavior. Count one would be 5,000 for our cost found. Count two would be ROR. My name is Soto, you're being charged with possession of Sanax. <laughs> I own a lot of jewelry, all right, okay. as well as... How much you, would you say your jewelry is worth? <laughs> Adios. Come back. Give me the paper again. Count one would be 10,000. Are you serious? I am serious. Adios. Bring him back again. Did you say that? Yes, sir. I did. Oh, you did say that? I'm not I find you in direct criminal contempt. 30 days in the county judge. Number one, Judge James Convery. Judge James Convery made his controversial statement as attorney Yvette Ramos Alvarez was representing a client in a divorce case who claimed he did not get regular statements from the Social Security Administration. When Convery asked why he would not receive such statements, Alvarez reported that said she herself had not gotten statements in recent years. According to a videotape of the incident, Convery asked, At what point did you become an illegal alien? Alvarez responded, Judge, I am going to. That was a totally inappropriate comment. Alvarez then left the courtroom during the middle of the hearing. She is president of the Hispanic Bar Association of New Jersey. The judge, on the other hand, has presided over a number of big cases, including the Michael Strahan divorce trial. Let's watch the shocking moment now. Don't you get it? I get it. You get it? You get it? Everybody gets it. <laughs> Social Security sends it to your home every year. He gets his Social Security every year indicating the earnings statement. He gets his earnings okay. statement. He gets it. He gets it every year. Now Ms. Kolsky comes back after everything was finished except for the Social Security earnings statements, which he doesn't have. So she asked for it. Why didn't he provide it? He doesn't have it. He threw it away? I would presume he did. Oh, come on. No, I don't get it. They sent it to my home four years ago. I haven't received it in the last three. Well, when did you become an illegal alien? Judge, that was a totally inappropriate comment. I didn't mean it. Uh, uh, Judge, listen to me. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.